Hey there, this is Letitia of Letitia's Voice and welcome and welcome back to my channel. And hey, today is what we're going to call Wisdom Wednesday. This is where we're going to begin to talk about those things that we've learned and unlearned about life. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you're alerted whenever I post a new video. So today's topic is about closure. How many times have you heard the word closure? I've heard this word since I was a child. And usually when people talk about closure, they're usually talking about friendships or relationships or the ending of one of those, right? Okay, cool. It's always good that we, you know, want closure. But let me tell you what happened to me once. I used to believe in closure. I used to believe that, oh, we need to talk this out. We need to get some closure. No matter what the outcome is going to be, we still need to get some closure. Until I had a rift with in a friendship and then that person simply never spoke to me again. So what do you do if someone never speaks to you again? You know, if someone, let's just say someone passes away or someone moves away, you lose touch or simply because that person doesn't want to talk to you anymore, then how do you get closure? What I've had to learn is that closure doesn't come from somebody on the outside. And guess what? I don't need their permission. You don't need their permission to move on. I don't need words from them, fancy words, nasty words, in order to move on. If I want to move on, then I decide that it's time to move on. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. How do you think about things like closure? Oftentimes we want what, what, what we want. We want an apology. We want an explanation. We want maybe just still the connection with that person. But what if that person decides they don't want to give you any of those things? You know, I'm a big fan of Real Housewives of Potomac. And so if you watch that show, then you know that this season this year has whew, been a long drawn out season about a fight between two friends. Okay. And it did not end well. <laughs> There was a big fight physically, you know, in addition to all of the yelling and cussing and all that jazz. And after it happened, you know, there were a series of things that happened after that. You know, there was no apology. There was no remorse. There were nasty words thrown. Then there was legal action taken. Then there was um, a retaliation legal action. Well, not retaliation, but it was a defense legal action. And uh, Team Monique, by the way. <laughs> but um, the issue that I take with it is that one friend decided to, hey, you know what? <sighs> this situation has gotten crazy. Let me seek some, some, some help so that I can get some healing. The other person decided that they wanted an apology. They were upset because that other person that attacked them had no remorse and all of that other stuff. And as far as I could see, the one who held on to wanting that closure, wanting that remorse, wanting that apology from the other person, they're the one that really didn't move on. Meanwhile, the other person is on her road to healing. And for me, I want to always be on that road to healing. I had to do that with that friend of mine that again, to this day, has never spoken to me again. I had to learn how to be okay with that. You know, because what could I do about it? You reach out, there's only so much that you can do. I had to realize that not only is the friendship over, I'm going to have to find my own closure. And that's exactly what I did. So how can we do that? How do you go about getting the closure that you need, getting the healing that you need. What I have been learning on my healing journey 
is self-love and self-care makes all the difference. You got to learn to find out what you have on the inside, to look within, to say, okay, what makes me happy? And I go after those things. I suggest you do the same. Go after those things that make you happy. You know, so I decided this year, I'm going to get a massage every month. You know, aside from, you know, the Rona taking away a few of those months from my massage, I was still able to accomplish the fact that for myself, I want to get a massage every month. I want to pamper myself. I want to do those things that make me happy. And if you need tools and aids to help you get through that healing process, there is nothing wrong with that. Okay? Go to therapy. Let us normalize going to therapy. Okay? There's nothing wrong with talking to an outside party. If you just can't get what you need from the inside, have someone help you navigate that. You know, they're navigating you back to you, though. Pick up some inspirational books, you know, kind of cut off the crap. Turn off the crap sometimes, you know, because sometimes, hey, trash TV is pretty good sometimes. (laughs) But cut it off and listen to something inspirational, a book. Read an inspirational book. Listen to an inspirational book. Listen to inspirational speakers, You know, what other tools do you use to help you move forward? Last year, I was introduced to uh, crystals and, and stones. And so what I learned was there were some um, different stones that basically go with any type of um, issue that you're having. There's something for courage and there's something for traveling. Um, safety and it's something for creativity and things like that this this beautiful stone here is smoky quartz and let me tell you the properties of smoky quartz Smoky quartz helps to release old, blocked, and stagnant energy, and it helps us to let go of old belief systems and patterns that hold us back. So this is good for those of us that may be a little stubborn and refuse to let go of negative emotions. You know, the people who need closure. (laughs) So just holding this and just doing meditation and saying positive words while holding your smoky quartz or having it in your vicinity is something that you can help with yourself. And speaking of positive words, another way that you can help yourself on the healing journey is to say affirmations. You may or may not know, but on Thursdays, I do affirmations right here on this channel. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video and I do uh, affirmation videos on Thursdays and um, I mean my affirmations talk about so many different things I've done self-care I've done self-love I've done self-worth freedom justice creativity and I am constantly doing more so make sure you're speaking positively and um, positive words to yourself about yourself and even about others so just you feel good you want to feel good that will help you on your way to healing and with that said let us not walk ourselves into 2021 with the same junk and the same baggage that we've been carrying all the way up to this point right now okay let it go let us do better Get on that healing journey and let it go. The closure that you want is going to start right here. You heal yourself. You heal yourself from needing outside forces and permissions for you to move forward in your life. So thanks for being here with me today. This will be a great new series for us to do Wisdom Wednesday. I appreciate you being here. And again, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. 
like this video and have a great one. I'll see you next time. Bye.